Hi, my name is Kelton and in this video I'm going to show you some of the settings for the God of War games. These games are quite difficult to, to be played on practically any Android device except uh, the most modern ones like the modern uh, Snapdragon or uh, Shield TV with Integra X1. So basically this is a mid-end device so don't expect it uh, to run full speed because it won't. Even my Shield tablet is not able to, to run the game at full speed but I'm going to show you how it runs by default and how to get it uh, more or less playable. Okay, so you can see now my settings are basically the default ones. I just enabled these two speed hacks and basically that's it. As you can see, this game will run quite bad by default. This is basically because uh, God of War game uh, is a game that it work uh, with a dynamic frame rate in the original PSP. It didn't ever run at 60 frames per second at the, at the original PSP. But the, the emulator has some issues trying to determine uh, the, the, the frame rate of, of the device. So basically uh, it tries to to render uh, all the frames. So as you can see with this option the game will run very choppy. Okay I'm going to accelerate the intro. You can see by default Okay, I'm going to make a frame throttle to the intro. As you can see, it, it always tries to, to render at 60 frames. Okay. As you can see, if I don't use any options, the frame rate is terrible. Okay, here we go. The, the first thing that we need to improve a little bit is to disable the simulate block transfer effects. Fortunately, this game is okay with this. Okay, here is some little speed boots. Okay, as you can see there is running more or less at between 25, 25, 23, 26, okay, more or less. In the original PSP it runs at this speed, but the problem with the emulator is that it always tries to run at 60 frames, which is the problem with the with the emulator. So basically, I mean, many people would use, just use frame skipping, I don't know, maybe to two or automatic, for example, and some people, for some people this is playable, not for me. In my opinion, the frame skipping make the games a little bit choppy. Of course, it's more or less playable, but it's not exactly the the, the best thing to to run it. So, basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to disable the frame skipping to off. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try to, to make a save state just in case it works better later. I don't know if with my setting okay. What I basically do is try to force the game to run like in a like, or like it was original thought in a in the original system. So we have the option here. Change the emulated PSP CPU. It says it's unstable, and in fact it is in some games. So I'm going to change it to I don't know. Let's say okay. I thought this. I'm going to move it with my finger that I think it's gonna be faster. Okay, more or less. Yeah, more or less like this. I'm going to set OK. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to back and I'm going to load the game. Now the game won't run at 60 frames. It will uh, have a dynamic frame rate and it will run more or less like it really runs in the original PSP. In fact, I have this game in my uh, PS Vita and it certainly it doesn't run at, at, at 60 frames. You can see there's still some audio stuttering in the menu. I don't know if I will be able to load my state. Okay. You notice there is still some sun slow down there. But at least the audio is better this way. I mean the game is it's not going to run at 60 frames, but in my opinion it is a running at playable speed. In the PSP it didn't run much better than this, so Okay, I'm going to kill these bastards. Okay, you need some time with some effects. There's some minor slowdown. This is a really demanding game, so don't expect it to run at full speed, but I personally find this quite playable this way. Of course, it's not perfect. It would be better that it would run much better. Some audio stuttering there because sometimes the emu even try, as you can see there, render at a higher speed than it really is using a real PSP. But more or less, this is, in my opinion, a bit better than using frame skipping. There is a minor slowdown here and there, but the game is more playable, in my opinion. I mean, there is no perfect option to to do, but between this and frame skipping, at least I prefer I prefer this. Okay, at least the sound is better. It's not so bad as with all the if we try to as i say i have this game i sorry i, I just press the the button that i didn't i don't know if using a PSP1 resolution will improve it a little bit more or not, the rendering resolution. Probably not, probably not too much. Maybe a couple of frames, but to be honest, the, the, the problem is not the, the output resolution, but You can see it's not perfect at all. I mean, I'm not trying to to convince that the game is full of speed because obviously it's not. But between this and frame skip, I personally use uh, frame skip. These settings can be applied to practically all low-end or mid-end Android devices for this game. Have in mind that not all games take benefit of, of this kind of options, but. I mean, with, with these settings, as you can see, even sometimes the, the game is able to, to run at playable speed. Okay, so I'm going to make a save state. And I'm going to show you now the same for the other God of War game, which basically share the same settings. 
I mean, this is what signal for Olympus, and this is the Ghost of Sparta. I think this game. Okay, it seems that this option is no longer working. Maybe in this in this version of of God of War, because there is a warning saying to me that I have to to keep it at default. So probably it's better for Chain of Olympus, but not for for this game. Okay, I'm going through. I think that there is no way to, to skip the intro, so I'm going to simply... Okay, I'm going to fast forward this because this is... A bit boring to, to see the intro. Okay, standard. As you can see, the, it's not trying to render the game at 60 frames. So, one option is using default options and frame skip, and the other option is, is this. This game also doesn't have a, or doesn't yeah. works with a buffer rendering. This is probably even more demanding than Chain of Olympus. As you can see the game runs at more or less 30 frames, average, of course. Obviously, if you have a modern Android device, like as say a modern Snapdragon or 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 simply a Shield TV, you don't need anything of this because those devices will run the game perfectly. Okay, I think this is a book with with my ISOC that sometimes uh, okay that sometimes doesn't show the the option that I it should be there, but. Okay, as you can see, it's running out more or less 20 frames. It didn't work much, much more better in the original PSP, but people usually uh, think that that it is, but I suggest that people that have a PSP run the game again and, and see how it really runs. Obviously, the, in the PSP, there was no these slowdowns to that we, we have here, but it wasn't certainly full uh, 60 frames of at all. At all. Yeah. I haven't noticed a difference in this game between using Vulkan or using OpenGL. Vulkan is okay but it depends depends on, on the game so basically as you can see this is more or less the, the best we can get with, with World of War games. So, and that's it. I hope that uh, I will probably in next videos will show you uh, another system like Dreamcast or even MAME or because I'm getting a bit tired of PSP. But uh, I will let you know if I have any findings or if you have any game request or I save a state from a game at a specific moment, just let me know and I can tell you uh, how the game runs or not. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next video.